So Allah is saying Sulaiman did not disbelieve, but the devils disbelieved. They were the ones who were teaching people magic. And now there was a question. Well, what is the difference between a miracle of a Nabi and magic? People didn't know because they only knew now one thing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent two angels with a certain idea. What was the idea? You people really want to know what is the difference between magic and the miracle of a Nabi? We will show you. You've seen the miracles out there. Now we will show you what magic is all about on condition that you consider it a test from Allah and you don't engage in it. The, the reason they had to teach a few people what it was all about was so that they could distinguish between the miracle of a Nabi and the magic of magicians. When they were taught, they knew very well that this is magic and what Sulaiman has come with is the miracle of a Nabi. Just like before them, if you take a look at Musa السلام, he was a Nabi. He had miracle with him. And when the magicians who were masters of magic came, when they laid or when they threw their ropes and their sticks, they knew immediately upon seeing what Musa السلام, came with, that what we did is magic and what he did is a miracle. They immediately fell prostrate. Why did Harut and Marut come down? They came down to teach the people something that they wanted to know to be able to distinguish between two matters. Sadly, when they taught a few people this magic, everyone they taught, they told them something. Look, we are teaching it to you as a test. So do not disbelieve by using this to cast magical spells upon people. If you do that, you will lose your iman, you will enter the fold of kufr and disbelief. Now, later on, these people started using this magic. Why? When they became jealous of one another and they seen a married couple very happily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, they started practicing what they were taught. How to split between a husband and a wife. So the magic, one of the first magical spells that people cast very easily is to split husband and wife. They utter the words, worshipping the devil. They utter words that they themselves don't understand sometimes. And the problem is solved. You find a person opening their eyes after they were blind of 20 years. And people say, Hallelujah! Stop it. Not knowing it's the worshipping of the devil. The devil himself, he will solve your problem. But you won't get very far. Because when you get to your Lord, he will tell you, Allahu Akbar. On that day, Shaitan will say, Look, I promised you something which was false. And Allah promised you a true promise, but you decided to come towards me. Shaitan says, I had no authority over you. I just called you towards something that was a little bit desirous to your lusts and to what you wanted inside. And you suddenly ran towards me, leaving your creator on one side. And Shaitan says, today I am free from you. In fact, I fear the Lord of the world. But I just wanted to prove a point to you. Look at Shaitan. This is the issue of magic. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, what an evil way of selling themselves. They sold themselves to the devil.